Hey everyone! Um, I wanted to do a quick little video about flower essences as I'm going to be ho uh, having a sale for the entire month of October. So flower essences, I was first introduced to them for my cat actually. Um, a good friend of mine um, in my early 20s uh, worked as a EMT. He is an EMT. Um, yeah, I don't remember. There was a type of energy work that she was she was utilizing with animals, and she combined them with flower essences, and it was for uh, you know emotional uh, well being as well as physical. And my cat, um, who lived to be almost 19 years old, had a lot of neurological problems, having been attacked uh, by a dog as a kitten before I got him. And so he had a lot of stuff going on. And he was very aggressive, even though I knew he loved me and we had a great close connection, he would lash out at me um, randomly. And it was because of that neurological imbalance. So he had a lot of um, emotional stuff going on as well. And so my friend uh, made me a flower essence blend as well as did energy work with him. This was way before my uh, herbal practice uh, in herbal training started and even Reiki um, training started before I was practicing. And so I, did, I knew very little about these things. But I knew that if I had for, if I forgot to give Oliver, my cat, a flower essence blend that day, he was significantly more grumpy and he was more violent. And when I did use them, he was so much more chill and I saw a real significant change in him. Later on, I worked with a uh, behavioral kinesiologist who also worked with flower essences, but I used them on myself. And the same thing, she would give me different blends depending on what I was working through. And um, if I forgot to take my essence that day, I would feel all out of whack. And whether or not it was, um, you know, what does it say, the um, placebo effect or what, um, it, it it was working for me, whether it, it, you know, whatever the reason, and I would notice. And it went on significantly for like several years. And this is right around the time I started my herbal trainings and then uh, learned about them even more deeply on how to make them and what they were really all about. So flower essences are so powerful and they're such an underutilized medicine. What's so cool about them is that they're very similar to homeopathic medicine. So if you're familiar with that, um, if you were to look at, you you know, homeopathics come in liquid or in capsules or like little tablets. And if you were to look at them under a microscope, there's nothing physically there other than the fixative, what's holding the essence, that could be sugar tablet, or it could be like an alcohol or vinegar under a microscope. You're not seeing any of whatever is present. So in this instance, it's flowers that I'm working with predominantly or, or uh, leaves, sometimes it's leaf and flower. So it's the vibration. Um, with homeopathics, like treats like. So for instance, you would take snake venom for a snake bite. But again, there's no actual venom in the homeopathic remedy because it's whittled down so much. They take one drop of the actual venom and then water it down, 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 water it down a thousand well, you know, two, I think it starts at 200 and up times so that it's just the energy of the substance. Um, flower essences are a little bit different where it's the energ energetic or spiritual, f you know, fingerprint, if you will, of the plant. So it has the ability to really touch upon the mental, emotional, um, energies of us. So it kind of helps us to dig deep and heal uh, the layers of, you know, whatever emotional traumas we're healing, whatever we're working through, whatever tendencies in our personality, the dark, the light, all of it. It helps us to bring things to a surface to help, um, learn from it and find our own balance within it. And so coming back to the fact that there's no actual physical component of essences, you can work with so many different kinds of plants. You can work with uh, poison ivy, you can work with water hemlock, things, you know, plants that are very poisonous and toxic that you wouldn't want to take internally physically, you can take energetically through flower essences. So they're super safe. On top of that, even if you're just taking rose uh, flower essence, which is a totally safe uh, plant to ingest, uh, you don't, you, you're not going to have to worry about overdoing it, right? Um, they can be utilized in so many different ways. They are not contraindicated uh, with any pharmaceuticals or any other meds that you might be taking. Uh, they're so gentle, but they're so potent. Um, so I find that less is more, where one drop of a flower essence is going to be uh, move more deeply and you're going to feel it more than say three to five drops. So if you want a lesser dose, if you're like, whoa, I, I wanted to start taking them, but I want to go easy on myself. 
you know, take five drops instead of one or take 10 drops instead of five. And then you can whittle it down and ease yourself into it. So, you know, whittling it down makes it stronger. And also putting it into um, another menstruum. So putting a drop or a few drops into a big jug of water that you're drinking all day long is going to enhance the vibration and make it stronger versus taking a drop under the tongue. Um, but there are a myriad of ways to take flower essences. You can put it in a spray bottle. If you have your favorite aromatic spray, uh, room spray, you can do that. So it's affecting your environment as well as yourself as it lands on your skin. Uh, facial mist, foot soak, um, you can add it to your coffee in the morning. Again, uh, you know, the daily water that you're drinking. You can rub it into your palms and, you know, onto your body. There's no wrong way to use essences. Um, and they're just, they're, like I said, they're so gentle. They're so uh, profound and very, very effective. The way to choose an essence is just to follow your intuitive um, instincts. What are you drawn to? Uh, maybe it's just the, the image of a flower or a plant. Maybe it's the description that you read about. But never second guess it. Always trust, even if it's something really weird, like I don't know why I'd be attracted to something like, you know, goldenrod. I always feel like, you know, or, or ragweed. That's one that people tend to have allergies with. Maybe, you know, maybe you just feel drawn to ragweed, then, then go for it. Um, but you really want to enable yourself, your spirit and your emotional um, sort of self to be leading uh, leading the capacity to choose an essence for yourself. And of course, you can always work with a practitioner um, that is familiar with flower essences and works with them well. Um, so I'm really excited to offer my entire line uh, that I have made through my 16 plus years of being an herbalist. And um, they're going to be super cheap, 10 bucks for half an ounce. And that's like about 240 drops per bottle. And that's a lot of drops because you, you know less is more. So it's gonna last you a long time. And um, and you can feel free to take one or two at the same time. Although sometimes starting with one to see how it feels and then going on from there um, can help because sometimes it takes a little bit longer for folks to feel um, the deeper sort of shifts that flower essences can make for you. So that was my little spiel. If you have questions, let me know. If you've worked with, worked with flower essences and you love them, let me know. Um, I love them. Um, they're such a powerful ally to have on your side. So looking forward to uh, giving them to you guys uh, for a sale rate in the entire month of October. Okay, stay tuned.